Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. It's a series all about evangelism and discipleship, hoping that you, our viewers, would get a couple of revelations. God is still working and is a part for you to be playing within the body of Christ. Today, we're in Dallas, Texas, visiting Dallas Life Homeless Shelter, and with me is Bob Sweeney, the president. Bob, thanks so much for letting us come thanks. by and see what God is doing here in your ministry. Great. Thanks for being here. We're excited. Amen. So you got some family members and a great team. Tell <laughs> us do. a little bit about how God brought you guys here to actually work in Dallas in the homeless shelter. Yeah. Uh, well, we've been 15 years in the senior pastorate, and then I became a head chaplain for the state of Pennsylvania in maximum security prison ministry. Wow. And it was then that God kind of stirred my heart. I heard about an opening in a homeless shelter, and I thought, what if I could connect the pastoral work with the indigent needs I saw for many of the folks that were in the prisons and when it came to homeless ministry 17 years ago? Yeah, that's good. And uh, so, wow, maximum prison. Is that uh, is there... Yeah. Some differences, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you know, we're all really in prison to something. We're all That's addicted true. to something. So as we address those issues, some peoples are against the law, and some of us are allowed to be out here in society struggling with our issues that are not breaking the law. Well, I know you're part of the AGRM and uh, the Association of Gospel Rescue Missions around the country, and I always say every city needs one. Yeah. So what are some of the distinct differences between a gospel rescue mission slash homeless shelter, maybe compared to some of the other? Well, the exciting thing for us is that we get to share the gospel. Yeah. Uh, I could not imagine just going to a shelter, being given beds and meals, and then asking people to leave after that, or they go their way. Right. I would feel like I really didn't change their life. So the freedom and the joy of being able to share the gospel, knowing that that's the only way true recovery comes, is, yeah. is a blessing for us. Yeah, so how would you describe the vision or the mission or the heartbeat of this ministry? Well, Dallas Life seeks to change the lives of homeless people one person at a time. And that, that's affected by our 3,500 volunteers. It's affected by the 500 people that stay here each, each night and the dozens of staff members that we have dumping their lives into people with that instrument of change. Yeah, so you've got a program in place. It's not mandatory, so you're kind of right. like introducing right. them. Talk about that approach. We've been listening to some of the folks right. talk about the first five days, for example. Yeah, well, we realize a one size does not fit all in homelessness. Yeah. So we can't like pigeonhole everybody into that. We don't want to do that in the church. We don't want to do that here in the shelter either. Right. So what we do is we give a few options for people that come to us. Yeah. One way to stay here is a five-night free stay where you just kind of evaluate what caused the homelessness. Was it drugs, alcohol, relationships, money issues, mental illness? Right. By the end of the fifth day, you choose either pay to stay at $10 per night or our long-term Homeless No More program, which is free for those with no source of income. Now, it costs us way more than $10 per night to keep a person here, but we think it's healthy to have people learn to give back in yeah. terms of paying a landlord, realizing that their income has to go to a, a purpose of advancing their life. So you either come in the pay to stay, or you come into the Homeless No More 10-month uh, recovery program, which is really discipleship-based to change your life. And I heard you got some pretty impressive statistics we as do. far as uh, success rates. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. We right? do. We do. When you look at the national average of people going to homeless shelters, yeah. you see everything from 2 or 3% up to as high as 27% of people recovering completely. At Dallas Life, we're thrilled to tell you that 9 out of 10 people reach full recovery at Dallas Life. That 90% success rate is turning some heads, and folks are saying, well, why isn't your program everywhere? because it could affect many cities. Yeah, and that's why we do this show. Again, God is, is working through the church, and we have our local Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, right. to the ends of the earth, and that's really what it's all about. So as we look at ministries that are doing ministry, there's right. good, there's better, there's best practices, right? Sure. So is that what the AGRM is all about? Yeah, AGRM is a series of 300 shelters that are out there throughout the United States and other parts of the world, yeah. changing homeless people's lives. So some of them are as large as us, many of them are not. Between our computer lab and our convenience store and our long-term programs, they don't all have what we have. But uh, one thing I know that at each of the AGRM shelters, the gospel of Christ is shared. There's feeding programs and there's a way to meet the, the most, most necessary needs of a person coming off the street. Well, that's awesome. Well, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews with some of the staff and volunteers, some of the board members here at Dallas Life so you can see how God is working here and around the world to rescue yeah. souls and make disciples. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry. 
and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Revelations. We are so excited to be in Dallas, Texas, visiting Dallas Life Homeless Shelter. With me, the President, Bob Sweeney. When we talk about sharing the gospel, there's a lot of folks that are doing great deeds. You mentioned that, right, right, but they're right. falling short on bringing up the name of Jesus, right, right. the saving knowledge of Jesus. So what's your approach on sharing the gospel? Well, we, we don't run away from the truth that Christ has to infuse a life for change. Every time Christ touched a life in the scripture, he expected a change in behavior. So at Dallas Life, we have an accountability-based program to do that very thing. Right. What's, what's essential to realize is that homelessness is at an all-time high. I mean, it's not since the days of the Depression that we've seen this many men, women, and children on the streets or in substandard housing. So Dallas Life wants to reach out with that truth, and we see hundreds and hundreds come to Christ each year here. Yeah, and you know, I've heard it said some of the folks that are on the street, they've heard the gospel. I mean, up, down, front, center, back and forth. Some of them even know the word better than some preachers right, do. Right, right. So is it a matter of like recommitting or refollowing? He said, Jesus said daily, you got to pick up your cross and right. follow me, right? Right. So, Oftentimes people want to see how much you care. Yeah. That's what they want to see. So they'll yeah. come into shelters. They're yeah. used to programs. Many of them are cycling through program after program out there. Yeah. So Dallas Life strives to be really unique, scripturally based, and yeah. really have an accountability, expecting something of that yeah. person as, as they recover. Yeah, and I know this is a controversial topic, but uh, dinner time and then chapel. Some will do chapel first and then, you know, dinner afterwards. So. You're kind of like meeting that need and then giving them yeah. the spiritual food, right? Yeah, I couldn't imagine someone being told they have to go to chapel to have the right to have a meal. Yeah. It would almost be as if they think I'm holding fried chicken over their head if they don't walk the aisle and accept my Christ. Right. What's important for me to let right. them realize is that we meet the need where the need is. And isn't that what Christ did? Yeah. He met the need where the need was and then he told them what their greatest need right. was. So that's what we do. Feed first, right. then the relaxed format of the chapel and, and people see that the barriers have come down. You know, I was just, as you were saying that, I was reminded of the 10 lepers, right? He, he held all 10 of them, and, That's right. and then one came back later That's to right. say thanks, and, and he just brought it up. Hey, you know, wasn't there 10? That's right. But yeah, so he didn't, yeah, that's just a, that's right. an amazing point. So sharing the gospel, it's always been word and deed. And, mm -hmm. and like you said, it, it's a demonstration of the gospel. I think right. that's what the, the church really needs to focus on is how do I show the love of Christ? True. And during that opportunity, you get an opportunity to bring up the name of Jesus. Absolutely. And, you know, we have so many different groups of people coming to us for help. We have the homeless veteran. We see 7 to 10 percent of the people staying here at Dallas Life are veterans. I could not imagine that a veteran who put his life on the line for my family's benefit right. would not have a place to lay his head. Right. So we have a distinct program that's tailor-made toward the needs of yeah. the homeless veteran. We see senior citizens that are really struggling yeah. having to decide, do I buy food or do I buy my prescription medication? So we have a program just for them. And what about the kids? No yeah. child ever asked to be homeless. Yeah. Their plan was never to come to a homeless shelter. Yeah. So our, we, our hearts go out to them. There's a new teddy bear that meets them at the, on their bed and a new book that are theirs. And that way they feel like there's a, a caring, loving spirit here yeah. so that they can get through this difficult time. Yeah, I gotta mention yesterday was we were capturing some shots. We saw the school bus actually stop right in front of the center. And a bunch of kids, you just wouldn't know it. They had smiles on their faces yeah. and they were, they were marching right on in. They're like, right. They almost couldn't wait to get inside. It was kind of cool. <laughs> to them, it's almost like a big house, yeah. not a homeless shelter. Yeah. You know, when you think about it, homelessness, it's really houselessness. Yeah. This is their home while they're here and they're right. recovering. Right. It's just that they're in need of more permanent supportive help with their housing. Yeah, and you got some outdoor playing areas, indoor we playing do. areas. It gets pretty hot in the summer. We, huh? we do. You got to have <laughs> indoor and outdoor uh, capabilities at all times. <laughs> well, praise God. That's just awesome. We're excited. I hope you stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews talking about evangelism, yeah. how God is using Dallas life to save souls and uh, reap a great harvest before his glorious return. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world 
to shine their light and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Well, thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Revelations. We're talking about discipleship with Bob Sweeney, the president for Dallas Life Homeless Shelter here in Dallas, Texas. So discipleship, learning how to follow, you know, Jesus and, right. and being transformed, that's a process. So it talk sure about, is. you it have sure intake is. all the way to saying, hey, I want to follow Jesus. Right. right. Uh, well, we realize that a 30 days off of drugs does not a, a successful person make. Right. So what we have is a plan that it's a 10 month program that's four phases. And the longer a person stays working through the phases, they earn more privileges. So as they get up through into phase three, they're looking for part time work. We also have 24 counselors that are right here from Dallas Seminary that are getting all of their counseling hours done here. So my residents are seeing the same person each week in counseling, addressing some key issues in life. We also find that a, a key component to recovery is really reconnecting with your family. And how do you learn to handle your finances and those things? Homeless people used to have a home. They used to have a job. They used to have a car. But if they keep losing those things, it takes those life skills and learning how to get them back again and how to never lose them in the future. So our 10 month program really focuses yeah. on those things in classes and one on one counseling. And that's really the Great Commission. He says, you know, make disciples right. all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, right. and teach them to observe all I've commanded you. And God's right. a holistic God. He's, he's concerned with all right. of it, right? You're right. You're right. So, and I sometimes mean, it takes a person coming alongside and saying, I see something in your life that's really got to change. So the mentoring process here at Dallas Life is a very big deal. Yeah. A mentor comes alongside someone in phase three addressing some issues of right. life. How does a man treat a woman? Right. How do you, how do you uh, uh, respond to your kids so that they're not at fault for every one of your bad decisions? Right. How do you make a nutritionally balanced meal? Balance right. the checkbook, study the word of God. Right. So we try to incorporate all those things into our mentoring. Yeah, I've heard it said too that everybody has a Paul in their life as a mentor mm. and everybody has a young Timothy in their life too that mm. they're sharing. So. Right. Do you have some leadership opportunities for folks that have been through the program to come a we part sure of do. Uh, Dallas Life? Yeah. We sure do. Sometimes we just train the residents to sit down with a, a younger resident and say, why do you think you're on the planet? Why do you think God even put you here? So we're thrilled to tell you that one third of our staff members have graduated from our Homeless No More program. Wow. So we really believe in what we make and we hire them back working with us. So they'll come back as mentors. They will be teaching classes. They'll travel with me and talk about the success rate. How could nine out of 10 people have such great success? We know it's through the word of God and caring, loving people pouring their lives into you. Well, that's Revelations 12, 11. They overcame the evil right. one by the blood of the lamb and that's the right. word of their testimony. So that breeds hope it does. In, in the lives of others. Hey, if you did it for him, he could do it right. for me. And isn't that what we need? We yeah. just need somebody to come alongside and say, there's hope. Yeah. Your situation will get better. We want to encourage you. So we look at the urgency of the homeless situation in America today. Yeah. We don't believe cities have the answer. Christ never said it was the responsibility of the government to fix the homeless problem. The poor will always be with you. It's the church, it's us, it's God's people that are supposed to get out there and say, let me show you how God has taught me how to live. Come alongside of me and let's take as many people along with us on the way to heaven as we possibly can. Yeah, and you did talk a little about family and reconciliation and you are really trying to minister to the whole family. So it's a ripple sure. effect. When you're ministering to an individual, right. it really does go to maybe a couple different generations, higher and lower as right. well. Right, I never want anybody to come here and say, my grandfather stayed here and my father stayed. <laughs> no, 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 we don't want that. We'd much rather give you tools so that you don't have to come back to Dallas life. So it is about ministering to the whole family. And those that are not homeless, how do we really instruct our families, our churches, our shelters into creating the type of people that never have to be homeless again? That's what we're about. We try to work ourselves out of a job, but that's never going to happen. So our goal is change. And that's what I believe Christ wants from every one of us. So as we were touring a facility too, I saw this Hall of Fame. You have every year yeah. you have a plaque with some graduates. Talk a little bit about that. We're thrilled about our graduations. We have graduation twice a year. Those are folks that have gone all the way through the 10 month program. They walk that aisle with cap and gown, pomp and circumstance. Right. They're getting a diploma. They're getting a, a Bible, study Bible for themselves. And that graduation sees over a hundred people now walk that aisle. 
each year. So we graduate every six months, and we're thrilled to tell you how many of those folks, they're all back to work, they're now mentoring, they're reconnected with their families, they're drug and alcohol free, they're members of local evangelical churches, and they're telling their story and letting folks know that God changed their life, a Dallas life. Amen to that. Well, keep watching. We're going to talk a little bit more about discipleship and how God is using Dallas Life to make disciples in these last days. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world to shine their light and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Well, thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Revelations. By now, we're hoping you had a few. God is still working and there's a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. Here at Dallas Life, Homeless Shelter, Bob, yeah. I'm sure you get the question all the time, what can I do to help? Where do you need me? Uh, and you just find right. a place for them to fit in, right? There's always a place at Dallas Life. Homeless shelters greatly need caring, loving believers, growing believers. And so Dallas Life is a place where that happens. Our chief of police comes down and, and shares with our donors that the way in which that those donors could help the city the most is to send dollars here because folks staying at Dallas Life don't get the felonies because the felonies prevent you from finding the job and the place to stay. Uh, so for us, it's all about key people coming in and volunteering their time and, and giving back. Yeah, and I like Jeremiah 33.3, call to me, I'll answer you, I'll show you great and mighty things you don't know. So we just pray first and say, right. God, what can I do? Right. I think that's the, probably the quickest prayer God will answer is, let me that's show right. you what you can do. And, and it's usually right. helping someone else, sure. right? Find so out where God's working, jump yeah. on that train and get involved. Yeah, and donors feel the same way. Our donors tell us that they don't want to dump their money into a hole that will never fill up. They want to see change. Uh, our local congresswoman, Eddie Bernice Johnson, a uh, member of the Homeless Coalition, the National Homeless Coalition, has said that Dallas Life is the best example of a homeless recovery program that they've ever seen. Those things don't just happen. God brings those about through relationships when they see people's lives change. Yeah, so two-part question. As far as financial contributions, do people earmark it for specific projects or programs or the in-kind gifts? Talk a little bit about that, sure. clothes and stuff. Sure, there's both ways. We give away 7,000 garments every month here at Dallas Life. So many people drop uh, garments off at our back dock. We also have uh, organizations that donate food or money asking us to buy food. You can restrict your gift so that those things that you give it toward are the things we spend it on. So many ways to get involved, either personally coming down and mentoring and volunteering or sending cash or, or praying for us. It's the greatest thing you could do. The problem yeah. is an urgent one. We need you to pray that God would empower us with the ability to share Christ so clearly right. and people's walls are broken down and they're softened to the gospel. Yeah, it all starts with prayer, and I've heard it said that most anything significant accomplished here starts in prayer on our yeah. knees, right? So yeah. uh, we got to hear from the Lord and, and be led, spirit sure spirit-led, right? And even when I've spoken in Washington to Congress about this issue, this is what comes up. How do you go about fixing the national homeless problem? Right. Well, it's a problem that's taken years to get this bad. A quick fix right. isn't the answer, but we can actually do lots of things in the right direction. Be, be open and honest with each other. Share what does not work. Right. Embrace the things that right. do. Dallas Life believes it's now time to take this program right. and offer it to shelters throughout the country. So we'll be coming to a city near you where Dallas Life's program and the successes that we see could be seen right there in your town. So we're thrilled to be able to say homeless no more can be sh shared all over and Dallas life can become Milwaukee life. It can be Boston life. Right. And so we'll be approaching shelter directors, pastors, mayors, so that when we come to their cities, they can come to a seminar and learn how they can appropriate this program into your area. And what a great way to even springboard from a local church. You had a great church group yesterday yes. along the whole service line, uh, youth groups, Talk right. about some of the churches, how yeah. they're getting plugged in. We could never do what we do without God's people rallying around us. And for 60 years, 
they've been here sharing with Dallas Life's residents how much they care about the evangelistic approach that we take. You too can get involved with a shelter in your city. Look them up online. Find out what AGRM shelter might be right near you. Go pour some of your time into the life of somebody else and sharing of Christ's mission, his goals and his dreams for their life just sets them on fire with the joy of what they can become. And I think that's what Jesus had in mind when he said it's more blessed to give oh, than to man. receive. And when you're pouring your life right. out, um, man, there's just a blessing right. that comes with that. Most people say, I went to do something for somebody else, but right. I was blessed. You right. We can't the believe time. they pay us to do this every right. day. Yeah. That I, I dream about going to work. Yeah. You know, so you, you wake up and you're just excited that there's another life yeah. that you can touch. Another show you can put on about the truth of the gospel being shared. Yeah. That's what this is all about. Amen to that. Well, keep watching. We're going to talk a little bit more about ways you can get involved with Dallas Life here in Dallas, Texas. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world to shine their light and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Well, again, I want to thank our viewers for watching this episode of Revelations. And Bob, thank you again for letting us spend some time with your team. Uh, an amazing team, some family right. members too. So that's, that's just right. amazing. And now you're on our team. That's Thanks right. for being part of what we're doing here. Yeah, we're all family. So kudos to the team. God Amen. builds teams since Adam and Eve. That's what Amen. I've been saying. Yeah. Well, I'd love an opportunity to pray with our viewers Please. and you and ask God to, to move in the heart Let's and establish do. some partnerships. Father God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we thank you again for being God. Thank you for raising up Dallas Life for such a time as this. I pray for Bob and the board and all the staff and volunteers, and we pray for partnerships within the body, that you would move through the Holy Spirit as someone is praying with us right now to uh, say, what can I do to help and uh, join this partnership and to join this great harvest. We pray for wisdom from above, again, as, as they deal with the most urgent situations and those urgent needs, family members that are broken that need healing, restoration, and a, and a fresh word from God, a word of hope. So again, we pray for all those on the front lines, for wisdom, those counselors, to get encourage them to rise up and be all you've called us to be, children of God. We love you for your grace and your mercy. And we again pray for wisdom moving forward, all in Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. 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 Well, thanks again for watching. Until our next episode of Revelations, may you and your families be blessed.